Things are always in transition, if we could only realize it. What's up my dudes? I wanted to catch you guys up on what's going on and what's coming up. I'm making this to document what feels like a pivotal moment in my life. The first big announcement is that I got laser eye surgery. No, I'm just kidding, that's not true at all. I'm just wearing contacts right now, my eyesight still sucks. Dumb joke. I got you though, didn't I? I so did. Okay, so for real now, the first massive change that's happening in my life is that I am going to be leaving the US where I have been for the last few months. I have had the incredible good fortune of getting to visit a lot of very cool places over the last few years, but there's one place that I think about more than all of the rest. It's a place I haven't been able to stop thinking about since I left pretty much. And I'd like to go for a longer period of time since one of my focuses this year is to have a little bit more stability in my life. So I applied for a visa. And that just basically meant that I spent a few weeks gathering the right documents. I booked a flight down to LA from Portland. I waited a few hours for the actual appointment itself. And then I submitted my application. About a month later, after requesting additional documents, the application results came in the mail. There we go. All right, moment of truth. This was everything that was in it. The fact that this is empty is not a good sign. Oof. Oh. What? Ooh, I don't think this is good. Did they get the category wrong? I think they just sent it back. Darn, uh, they didn't explain anything. I got rejected, so I tried again. I booked a new appointment, I flew back down to LA, and I submitted a new application. A few weeks later, after requesting additional documents, the application results returned in the mail. Okay. Uh, I'm so nervous. My heart is pumping out of my chest. gosh, I'm going to France. So I'm moving. I'm moving to Paris, which is going to be new for me actually, um, because the last time I was in France, it was for a high school exchange program. I was living in a small town and spent all of my time in that small town. So um, yeah, this is new and exciting. France is an incredible place full of the most wonderful people. And it is so much more than the stereotypes people automatically think of. And that's something that I really want to share with the world. I'm doing this because it occurred to me late last year that I need a home base, you know, a place that I can keep coming back to. I wanna be able to see the same people each week and have that feeling of community. I keep ending up thousands of miles away from my friends. And unfortunately, that place is not Portland, which is where I am right now um, and where I grew up. There is something to be said for when you are in Central Europe, a two hour plane flight in any direction will take you to a different country with a different language and a different history and a different culture. And I just love that. I, I live for that. I remember taking a train from Northern Italy to Switzerland. Um, so it was only like a few hours of travel. But in that period, I think I went through like three or four different languages. Um, people just suddenly speaking different languages at each station. And I don't know why that excites me so much. And also I'm finding that I feel like I click a little bit more with European values and the way of life. France was the first place that I lived outside of the US. And um, I've spoken about it in the past, but it really is 
uh, a country and a period of my life that completely changed things for me. So anyway, this is a bigger move than usual because it's going to shape the rest of this year and maybe more. We'll see how things go. I'm making this video because I'm at a little bit of a fork in the road. I think there are a lot of people that in my position where I'm at right now in this very moment in time would take this opportunity and grow it into a big business with lots of employees. And I don't think there's anything wrong with that. It's just that that doesn't feel like it fits into my own personal vision of what success means for me. I don't think I wanna be a CEO or this big like kind of managerial person. Um, success for me is about developing myself as an artist. I do know I have to build a team, but I just, I wanna do it the right way. And I wanna be smart about this. This project of pursuing clarity in my life officially began, I suppose, on November 28th of 2018 when I began publishing videos again. That was after three and a half years of trying to sort of figure things out for myself and feeling like I wasn't really getting anywhere. It was just so unclear to me for a very long time how I was going to share the ideas and thoughts that I have and that I wanted to put out into the world. I have seen my life completely change over the last 15 months and everything has far surpassed all of my expectations. In many ways, this is no longer the simple little personal project that it once was. This is really turning into a lot more and I'm sorry that this is getting a little bit sappy here, but I'm glad that I've been documenting and sharing the entire process uh, because I know that I'm gonna look back on this stage of life that I'm going through right now and just have a lot of fun memories about everything. So noi a Modena in questo momento con una amica francese. Oh no, that baby just totally ruined that. <laughs> I'm not saying it's been all like fun and games. There's been a lot of stress and anxiety and kind of like fear of failure that's been mixed into things, but it's been like a huge growing process. That being said, I can feel I have so much more to offer and it can feel very frustrating sometimes, extremely frustrating, but I also know that that's the process. This is going to take many thousands of hours still for me to get where I want to go. So things are sort of evolving by themselves um, and they already have been for a while now, I feel like. The direction, for example, of my work is shifting. I started out with my focus being almost entirely on self-improvement. That's what I thought mental clarity meant, but I no longer see things that way. I feel like as I go along, my perspective is changing quite a bit. And self-improvement still definitely excites me. I think it's, it's amazing, but self-improvement just for self-improvement's sake doesn't make a lot of sense to me anymore. I feel a need to tie everything to spiritual development or creative expression or learning about the world and other people or else it feels empty. Those are the things that make me feel alive. And that is what I want right now. I want to feel alive as often and as intensely as possible. I feel like a lot of the last four years have been about trying to prove myself. Um, you know, I would be a senior in college right now in my last semester if I went down that route, you know, of going to college. Um, and it's something that pretty much everybody I went to high school with did. And I went to two high schools. So I felt a little bit like a loner and I think that's where all of this is stemming from, this kind of desire to prove to the world that I made the right decision. And I'm still like not fully there yet, but I'm realizing that it doesn't matter. Like you don't have to prove anything to anybody. And so in that spirit, I'm creating space in my life now for other kinds of projects, other artistic endeavors that really interest me, like writing, painting, making music, because I am just not going to wait for some fictitious person's permission to do these things. If I do that, I'll be waiting my entire life. These are all things that don't make me any money right now, but that's not the point. That's not what motivates me. I strongly believe that cultivating different areas in your life that may seem completely separate actually end up like kind of influencing each other in weird ways. And that's where the magic happens. What this is probably going to end up looking like is me uh, pulling things back just a little bit and posting maybe two or three times a month instead of my traditional rhythm of once a week, which is something I tried to do all of last year. Doing that, I think, will give me the time and energy to focus on some of these other projects and also to like continue enjoying filmmaking. One thing that I've realized about myself is that no matter how hard I tried to create a system and to be more efficient about the whole process, the process itself continues to evolve and change. And when I place too much of a focus on trying to be like more productive 
and more efficient, it kind of stresses me out. Like I just want to enjoy what I'm doing. I also just want to dig deeper into the work that I'm doing. I mean, some projects are just not possible if you don't stay put in one place for an extended period of time. I want to create series. I want to delve deeper into specific topics. And that's why stability is so important to me right now. For example, Last year, I tried doing a fitness related challenge that I'm still interested in doing, but I realized that without stability, I wasn't going to create long-term change and you know see a bigger impact in my life. And so it was kind of pointless. Like I wanna do things right. There are many far more talented filmmakers out there than me. I make beginner mistakes all the time, believe me. I don't even really consider myself a filmmaker, to be honest. I think I'm mainly just focused on developing my ability to tell stories. That's that's the core of everything that I do. So I appreciate all of your patience, energy, and support in sticking with me as I figure all this out for myself. Over the next few weeks, there will be a few more videos coming out that I've been working on here in the Pacific Northwest, and then my videos in France will begin. I cannot wait.